I just can't with this book anymore. I've been trying to read it for a week, but I finally decided I'm going to set it aside. I'm going to DNF it. Uh, and Michael's held. Not only do you, every time I go back to reading this book, does it feel like a slog? I'm not enthusiastic about returning to it. But I can't remember anything that I had read already, or at least very little uh, about the story and the plot. And yes, I know uh, And Michaels is primarily a poet and it is written in a very uh, lyrical way. There's lots of philosophical musings. So it begins very promising. There, There's a soldier that's wounded on the battlefield and we, we feel the precariousness of his fate that you know, he could have easily died and he witnesses many people who did die and uh, he returns to home to, um, to to the woman he loves and uh, and he becomes a photographer at one point um, he, he has uh, takes on an assistant who has some different political views so it's an interesting thing there and some of the photographs he start to starts to take um, the, the dead start appearing in these photographs now this is a really interesting basis and beginning for a story beyond those details I, I couldn't really tell you anything about what is going on on in this book because yeah there are so it's so much more uh, about the imagery uh, about this sort of pondering about deep thoughts and fates and and yes there 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 is so much in it about our, our connection to each other uh, about time and and memory and and how the the dead uh, are take such presence in our lives and um and the photographs we have that are these um sort of touchstones to the the past that this this gives us a connection with history and makes it part of our present you know rather than just being in the the past yes there are all of those things uh, in in this book uh, but uh, it is not the kind of reading experience that i enjoy um there there are um there are some passages and um, there there's a really nice passage uh, about uh, how like the mist was kind of erasing the the landscape um which i i thought was really beautiful cuz it's written in these short sections so you'll get these these very like brief uh, ponderings and little Im impressionistic understandings of uh, of of, uh, of things, um, but uh, but then um, yeah, there is a, a lot of pondering going on and philosophical musings, which uh, are just this kind of like word scramble, which doesn't uh, doesn't really add up to anything on some of these lines. When I've sat and thought about them, I, I'm like, well, actually, you're not really saying anything now that there, there are some other lines that i i did feel like it was uh interesting to to sit and think about for a, a while or which are an interesting way of um kind of thinking about uh, the world and our existence and so there was one line where uh, uh she writes um this magnitude they discovered that was only an emanation of blind chance blind chance an argument for destiny he had never considered before and yeah how we can have these uh, elements of chance in our lives and meetings which then become very significant and completely change our fates and so is is that destiny or was that just chance are we just sort of like stumbling uh, around yes we can think about all of those things but i'll i'll read you the line uh which uh, made me decide to stop reading this book uh, it is on page 72 and um and this is why I decided to stop reading this book. So I got to this line where um, it says, she, suddenly, she saw suddenly that it was complicity he wanted. No, corroboration. No, uh, no more room for collaboration of any kind. No, a kind of coercion, anything but to confide in her. And now this line, uh, I realize, was more about uh, the, the rhythm and uh, the, the poetic sound of it rather than building upon the characters and understanding of this scene, you know, rather than 
cohesion or comprehension. She wanted to continue on with this co sound. Now, in the the scenes preceding this, it, it shows how there um, is this emotional distance between these two characters, between this couple, and even though there was still physical closeness between them, that um, that it, it was more out of a sense of obligation that she was having. Just a really interesting situation to present in a novel, but these lines rather than like building up on uh, building an understanding for the reader of um, this situation this very complicated emotional situation in a relationship it's more about the the author yeah building upon these sounds and and wanting to 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 play with language in this way you know rather than to convey real meaning and uh, and and so I, that just made me feel like no i'm i'm done with this book because it's not the kind of reading experience that i i, I appreciate or in, enjoy I, and i do enjoy some novels that are you know especially the more literary kind that that do you utilize the, the form of novel in its like most essential sense of that it's a novel that it's it's recreating the form of fiction that we are reading that that it's it's not necessarily um uh, adhering to any sort of kind of generic conventions of what we expect in fiction or in terms of of plot and development of a story um it's instead it is providing a series of of images and musings and uh, just small details of a number of different characters lives and we are meant um to draw from those things and maybe holds them together to find a larger meaning both in in the this, this story and to do with life. Um, but yeah, that is just not coming across to me and I'm finding it more of a frustrating experience than a rewarding one. And that is a big alarm sign to me that, uh, that maybe this is a, a book that I should move on from um, because uh, yeah, if, if if I'm reading anything and and it feels like a real slog to go back to it, then and and I'm just thinking, oh, maybe I'll just uh, you know be scrolling through the internet or 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 playing Ticket to Ride on my iPad rather than actually reading. Then that's a yeah sign that that uh, I'm not uh, getting uh, the the pleasure in literature that I want to, and so it's time to move on from it. And and I was considering like like well, what if other readers made about this? Because I, I have heard some from some other readers in my, my book club and uh, and yet yeah, heard um, other booktubers um, talking about um, yeah how they really struggled with this book as well or actively disliked it um, and so yeah I went on to Goodreads I was looking at some reviews and I was surprised by the majority of really um, like positive high star reviews of of this book but then I started reading some of these reviews and getting into it a bit more and one of the the top lines from um, one of the reviews I saw was uh, was um, from a reader who said I am probably very unworthy to read a book like this because I struggle with poetry and this book has very poetic prose uh, which yeah a novel shouldn't be making readers feel like they are unworthy of it uh yeah the that that's that's really not what uh, an an author's job an author's like job is to 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 try to engage readers and and to draw them into the the story and the ideas um, that they want to to convey through a novel and the questions that they are raising and uh, and so yeah to make a reader feel unworthy like this feels like it's kind of betraying the the essential sense of what literature should be doing. Um, another um, reader responded, uh, I I enjoyed the first two thirds of the book on the day I read it, but when I picked it up the next day to finish the last third, I was lost and didn't see how the remaining short chapters tied back to the first two sections of the book's characters. It could be that I interrupted the pace at which I was reading it by splitting it over two days, but it also seemed the last section lacked integration to the whole. If you read a book over two days and, and can't hold in your memory what is happening in the book or, or the, the characters. Well, that's 
yeah, again, that's kind of the fault of, of the book uh, uh, rather than um, yeah, the, the, uh, uh, on the part of the reader not reading it all the way through from start to finish. Because honestly, how many books can we do that with? I mean, this book is only just over 200 pages long. So yes, you could read it in uh, one single day. And yeah, maybe the impact of this book would um, be greater uh, if, if you did so. But um, realistically, um, for most readers, we don't have the luxury of, of reading a book uh, in in this way, and uh, and so yeah, and and a number of other um, of, of readers' reviews, um, even uh, the ones that are highly starred, um, they they they're often making points of that I just you know, didn't agree with, or um, we're just listing a number of different quotes from the book, which you can take out and and ponder, and and but yeah, that I don't want a book and a story that is just like quotable that you just like can take out any any single line and then like sit there and think about it um for for ages um that that's where the lines in their isolation are the point of it i want it to be connected to a, a greater whole um so like quite often you know in books i read that i love and and uh, and will find so many lines to to copy out but it is because it is building up to a much greater like meaning and and they are they they stand out as as things which uh, i i want to like chew over and ponder and so many lines in this book um while a number of them are quite beautiful while some of them are thoughtful i think the majority of them are yeah this more just like word salad that um that that doesn't really add up to anything and so I found this book, yeah, just <laughs> too, too disappointing overall, and 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 almost like distracting when I came to a line um, such as um, when uh, she says John held her close so that so she would not see his face, held her close and held is 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 that the meaning of the the title? Is that the larger meaning of the book? Um, um, yes, you could uh, say maybe it's it's you know pondering this this level of of the relative um, closeness and distance we have from each other, both physically and uh, emotionally and sexually. Um, yes, uh, it is it is pondering all of these things, but it's it's just not building up to that larger meaning and impact uh, for me. So I'm going to set it aside. Uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. If it makes the Booker Prize shortlist, maybe I'll give it another try. This is this is very, uh, this is a sense of deja vu. This happened last year of a book, uh, quite a short book that uh, from the long list that I, I read early, start, started to read early on and then stopped reading because I, I really wasn't into it and wasn't enjoying it. And then I returned to it later and and, uh, and really appreciated it and yeah, developed a new understanding of it. Maybe that would happen if I gave this book more space and time like that. But at the moment, I, I don't want to allow that because there are too many other things I want to read and that I want to get onto. And I don't want to be distracted um, from the pleasure of reading and want to continue to engage in, in reading like that. Uh, so if you have read, held or tried to read, held, um, please do let me know what you think in the, the comments below. Uh, let's have a chat about it. If you want to encourage me to, to continue, continue on reading it, or with, if you think that um, I, I was right to just set it aside, and, and even if you enjoyed it, that maybe it's just not a book for me and it should be set aside, and that is totally fine. But uh, I hope you're doing well and reading good things. Speak to you again soon. Bye-bye.